the customizable controller of Xbox makes the games accessible to a wider audience, and that's what caught the attention of the Xbox boss, Phil Spencer, who was ultimately responsible for the green light of the project. The controller allows people who do not have thumbs, fingers, limbs or good motor control to plug in alternatives they can control. And that allows them to play games on Xbox One consoles that they would not otherwise be able to play. There are more than a billion people with disabilities in the world, and even more so that sometimes they are temporarily disabled like those with broken arms, and the Xbox Adaptive Controller is built in a way that allows them to create their own custom solutions for playing games. The controller started as an idea in the hackathon in 2015, and little by little it built up when Sonny Nadella, Microsoft's new CEO, struggled to change Microsoft's culture to make it more human. The company based in Redmond, Washington, created its Microsoft Inclusive Technologies Lab, and researchers associated with it were instrumental in building the driver. Spencer, who recently gave a talk in support of diversity at the Summit Game event, spoke with a small group of people outside the Microsoft Inclusive Technology Lab. We talk about why doing good sometimes is the best thing to do, whether or not that means that you will also do good business as a result.